Azelaic acid is one of those ingredients that is particularly effective for hyperpigmentation in darker skin tones. But that's not all that you need to know. Time for class. Today is Azelaic Acid 101. Hey guys, I hope you are well. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Sherry Blue family, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Sherry Joseph. I am a licensed skincare consultant, but I'm also a love of all things beauty. And I hope that you enjoy today's video. As you would have heard in the intro, today we're going to be talking about azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is a dicarboxylic acid that is naturally found in things like wheat, barley, rye, and it is also produced by fungi that is found on our skin. You may have seen azelaic acid listed as an ingredient in skincare products or sometimes dedicated products to this ingredient. But when it's found in skincare products, it's actually synthetically made. Normally, when we hear the term acid, we immediately start thinking about exfoliants. But when it comes to the exfoliating properties of azelaic acid, it's actually quite mild and it works a little bit differently compared to the ones that we are accustomed to, like alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids and polyhydroxy acids. Just in case you've been seeing this ingredient around and you're probably wondering, should I use it? What are the potential benefits? how to use it, etc. That's what we're going to be discussing today. So let's start with the benefits of azelaic acid. Number one, azelaic acid is immensely beneficial for people with rosacea. It has mild anti-inflammatory properties, so it's able to do the job without being irritating, and it can also help calm the skin. Azelaic acid works really great in helping to calm down that redness and the bumps that tend to occur on the skin in conditions like rosacea. And it can also help to eradicate the bacteria that might be associated with this and other skin conditions. The second thing that azelaic acid can help with is acne. Azelaic acid can actually help with renewing skin cell turnover. It can also help to unclog pores and it's also quite effective against C. acne bacteria. To do this, however, it does take quite a long time, which is why azelaic acid tends to not be the first line of treatment when we're actually treating acne. It is a bit weaker than things like salicylic acid, retinoids, benzoyl peroxide. However, since most of the regular acne fighting and acne treating ingredients cannot be used in pregnancy, azelaic acid tends to be the first line of treatment when it comes to acne occurring during pregnancy. If you're also somebody with very sensitized skin and cannot handle any of those other ingredients, then azelaic acid might be the option for you. Third benefit of azelaic acid has to do with hyperpigmentation, and this is where the ingredient really shines. A lot of people use azelaic acid in skincare routines to help treat post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, like all those dark spots that you tend to get after acne especially on darker skin tones, as well as in melasma skincare routines. They do this because azelaic acid is a very effective tyrosinase inhibitor and it inhibits melanin synthesis, therefore reducing the excess melanin content in the skin. The good thing about how it works is that azelaic acid is very safe for long-term use compared to some other ingredients that folks might tend to reach for when dealing with hyperpigmentation like hydroquinone, which actually needs to be cycled on and off. So you would actually find that in skincare routines like for melasma, where hydroquinone may be used when somebody has to come off of hydroquinone, azelaic acid is a really good ingredient that they can use in between those cycles to help continue working on that pigment and maintaining the skin. The fourth main benefit of azelaic acid has to do with helping to reduce skin texture. Azelaic acid does have some keratolytic abilities, so it helps over time to break down those dead horny layers of the skin and therefore help to smooth skin texture and increase skin radiance. It actually does this in a way that's a little bit different compared to AHAs and BHAs, which is why we don't tend to lump it in those categories. One of the things that's really, really important to note, and this is partly based on my experience, both my personal experience as well as dealing with hundreds of clients of darker skin tones who have issues with hyperpigmentation and who may also be having issues with malassezia. So malassezia, as you guys know, is a fungus that lives naturally on our skin. When it multiplies or there is excessive growth on the skin, it can cause certain skin conditions. Things like what we call fungal acne, tinea versicolor, seborrheic dermatitis, etc. Now it's important to note that one of the byproducts of malassezia 
is azelaic acid. So malassezia will naturally produce azelaic acid on the skin, which is why for people with seborrheic dermatitis or some other conditions related to this particular fungus or this particular yeast, you will notice that you have hypopigmented areas on the skin. Hypopigmented areas on the skin means that you will find that there are areas on your skin where you have actually lost the color. So instead of it being your natural skin tone, you're actually noticing that these areas are actually getting lighter and not like your actual skin tone. That alone shows you how effective azelaic acid is when it comes to reducing pigment. So while this actually works really good for hyperpigmentation, specifically on persons with darker skin tones, if you are someone who is already dealing with malassezia related issues, I tend not to put azelaic acid in that skincare routine because some of these particular effects of malassezia conditions can actually be made worse by adding an azelaic acid skincare product on top of what is happening. Let's talk about the strength of the azelaic acid that you should be using. Now, azelaic acid as an ingredient in terms of how it works and the properties and the benefits that I mentioned is actually really, really mild. Therefore, you want to look for something that is at least about 10% in strength to really be able to start seeing the benefits of this ingredient. You can actually get azelaic acid in 15 to 20% strength, but those are actually by prescription. In fact, this ingredient is one of those little secrets that has been used professionally and in medical settings to help with hyperpigmentation. In the last few years, we've actually been able to see azelaic acid being available over the counter to the regular consumer. But you will generally find this up to strengths of 10%, highest strengths requiring a prescription. While azelaic acid is pretty mild and can be used by very sensitive skin, persons who are pregnant, etc., as with any ingredient, there's going to be somebody out there who is going to experience some type of irritation and some type of sensitivity. However, in general, this is an ingredient that is very well tolerated by most of the population. If it turns out that you have tried azelaic acid or you have started azelaic acid and you do notice some type of sensitivity, then all you really need to do is start way more slowly than everybody else and allow your skin to adjust. Let's talk about how to use azelaic acid. To really get the benefits of azelaic acid, you should be using it up to twice daily or at least once per day in your skincare routine. That means that azelaic acid can be used in your morning skincare routine and it can be used in your evening skincare routine. Most people can jump into using azelaic acid once a day immediately and gradually increase to twice a day. But like I mentioned, if you do realize that you have some type of sensitivity, just scale it back, start using it a couple of times for the week and gradually get yourself to daily use and up to twice daily use to really get those benefits. Also keep in mind that as you should know, especially if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation and in fact for all your skincare active ingredients, you want to ensure that you are using your sunscreen every day, using the right amount, using it in the correct way so that you protect the work of your azelaic acid. The next question you might have is, if I can use it in both my morning and nighttime routine, what about all my other skincare? What about all my other active ingredients? And this is where azelaic acid really shines because azelaic acid could be layered with almost anything, including the things that tend to be finicky, vitamin C, other exfoliants like your AHAs and BHAs, your retinoids, even benzoyl peroxide, which is one of those ingredients that is difficult to figure out what it can and cannot be layered with. You can use azelaic acid with benzoyl peroxide. In fact, that combination is very effective for acne. And this is one of the other reasons why it is so easy to introduce azelaic acid. Because let's say you are using some other ingredients to treat your acne, azelaic acid is just going to help boost that. Let's say you're using some other ingredients to treat your hyperpigmentation, azelaic acid is going to come in there and really do some heavy hitting. Perhaps you're only more sensitive side and you have some skin texture you cannot use other types of regular AHAs and you probably want to use azelaic acid it's going to be able to do that however keep in mind that because it is so mild it is going to take a little bit longer to do some of these things where we have other ingredients that we tend to reach for as first line treatments so then the next question might be well then how long is long how long is it going to take for me to start seeing results? In general, if you're using azelaic acid twice a day in your skincare routine, at around the six to eight week mark, you will definitely start seeing a difference in the particular condition. I usually encourage my skincare consultation clients to take photos about once a month. Try to take it in similar lighting around the same time of the day so that you could really see the changes that will be happening in your skin 
after introducing certain skincare products and skincare ingredients. And as we wrap up here, some of you might be saying, okay, I think I really need to get azelaic acid into my skincare routine. And you might be wondering, well, Sherry, which specific azelaic acid products do you recommend? I am going to leave that information in the description box below because I can tell you about the azelaic acid products that I can recommend up to now. And I'm sure in the future, some other amazing ones will come along. So if somebody sees this video in the future, I would have updated the description box as well. I just wanted to say though that we really started to talk about azelaic acid or see it on the scene when it comes to consumers when it was introduced by the ordinary many, many, many years ago. I don't know how many of you remember the azelaic acid suspension. And while that product is effective, a lot of people didn't like it because of the presentation of the ingredients. So it was in this type of creamy formula that was very, very grainy. And because of the consistency, that particular product was really difficult to layer and use with other skincare products or even on its own. Fast forward to today, we have so many companies that have released azelaic acid products in different formats, some in creams, some in toners, some in serums. And as we've gone along, as technology has gotten better, the textures of these products have really gotten better. There are also some products where 10% azelaic acid is combined with other ingredients as well. I do have some favorites and like I mentioned, they will be in the description box below. I hope that I answered your questions about azelaic acid. Have you used azelaic acid before? Do you have a favorite product? I'd love to hear about it. And if you haven't used azelaic acid before, have you been considering it? Do you think you will try it now? Do you think you may or may not be the right candidate to introduce azelaic acid into your skincare routine? Let me know as well as any other questions you may have and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Take care. Bye.